I'm Major League Fishing Pro Josh Bertrand, and what I love about fishing in the winter is you can really simplify your approach to just a few rods and reels. The first rod that I'll reach for a lot of times in the wintertime is some type of crankbait rod. For me, when it comes to whatever that bait's gonna be, it's, it's clearly gonna depend on the depth that you're fishing. But a lot of times with the fish living in deeper water in the wintertime, a deeper diving crankbait, something like a dredger, would be my first choice. Um, this right here is a dredger 14.5, and you can see I've got pretty wild color here. It's a, it's a fire tiger color. Well, a lot of times in the winter, you've got stained water. You've got rain runoff stuff, stuff like that. Believe it or not, this is a color I throw a lot in the cooler months. Um, but again, I'll match that up to the water clarity, the forge, stuff like that. Um, and I'm gonna match the rod up to the bait. For a 14.5 like this, I love to throw it on a 7.6 medium heavy winch Abu Garcia Veritas rod. The winch is a great crankbait series because it's more or less designed for cranking. Uh, longer, they're longer rods for long casts. Um, they've got very parabolic actions, so you're not gonna pull the treble hooks out of fish when you're fighting them back to the boat. Uh, just a perfect all around cranking rod. When it comes to the reel, Slower gear ratio is really critical this time of year. You know, I'm gonna go with either like a five, four to one winch from Abu. Uh, in this case, I've got a six, four to one MGX. Um, a little bit faster, but still slow in the general scope of things. As far as the line goes, uh, I keep it pretty simple. I do almost all my cranking on 10 pound trilene, 100% fluorocarbon. Uh, works great all the way across the table. That lighter line lets you get the bait deep and that trilene fluorocarbon is so abrasion resistant, uh, you're not gonna break fish off even though it's a lighter size. Anytime the fish are lethargic, they're not moving fast, um, and even around any different type of cover, but primarily rock, a jig is one of the first things I reach for. Uh, it's great for catching big fish and it's great for catching numbers in the winter time. Depending on the type of rock I'm fishing and the depth I might throw, I might be pitching kind of a casting or a flipping jig right up to the bank, or I might be dragging a football jig out deep. Uh, no matter what, I'm using a similar rod and reel setup almost all the time. Uh, a lot of times that's gonna be a 7.3 heavy action rod from Abu Garcia. Uh, I really like the Premier, the Fantasista Premier Series. It's, it's kind of our top, top of the line, high end rod. So sensitive, so light, and in the winter time, when the fish bite, then it's that really subtle, soft bite. Having a really sensitive, lightweight rod makes a big difference. Another thing that's underrated as far as getting more sensitivity out of your rod is actually using a lightweight reel. If you take a 10 ounce bait cast reel and put it on a rod and fish with it, and then you replace it with a six or seven ounce reel, big difference. You feel the bites a lot better. So the MGX is one of the lightest reels that we offer at Abu Garcia, and I love it for wintertime fishing because you can feel the bite so much better. Um, as far as line goes, 15 pound trilene, 100% fluorocarbon, that's the line I throw jigs on almost all the time. It's just bulletproof. Um, it's gonna work every time, never breaks. And here's one thing I always talk about for fishing a jig deep in the winter time. You know, you hear about using a fast gear ratio for stuff like a frog or a buzz bait, stuff that you're, you know, bringing across the surface fast. Well, even fishing deep, at the end of your cast, if your bait's down in 25 feet of water, if you can reel your bait up, 10 or 15 seconds quicker every time at the end of your cast because your gear ratio is faster, at the end of the day, you just added X amount of cast to the amount of cast you'll make all day, which translates into more fish. And one of the best ways to get a big bite in the wintertime is a suspending jerkbait. This jerkbait right here is a Berkley Skinny Cutter 110 Plus. You know, the thing about suspended jerkbaits this time of year is they do a fantastic job of imitating a dying or injured shad and no bait emulates a dying shad better than a jerk bait, just twitching it through the water column. Um, a lot of times I'm using a slow retrieve, I'll cast it out, twitch, pause, long pause, twitch, twitch, pause, long pause, and you're gonna vary that depending on the activity level of the fish. I'm gonna use a 610 medium light, either a Veracity or a Villain 2.0 rod from Abu Garcia. Uh, I like that medium light action, again, for when you hook into a fish that is, uh, you know, doesn't necessarily bite it with a bunch of energy. The water's 48 degrees and they don't come up and crush it. They just nip at it. They may not get the bait great. So having a soft action rod is really critical. And then a fast gear ratio reel. Um, the lightweight MGX eight to one gear ratio. That eight to one, um, I, I don't see any reason to use a slow reel on a, on a jerk bait. Under normal circumstances where I'm not pausing my bait for crazy amounts of time, I go with that fluorocarbon. 
but if you get into that situation, and I'll get into it once in a while where that water's so cold, it's 46 degrees or below, and you're literally having to just let your jerk bait sit there forever, maybe even sometimes below 50. You'll, you'll find that you have to let your bait suspend for 10, 15, 20 seconds at a time between twitches. That fluorocarbon is eventually gonna sink. And what it's going to start doing is pulling your jerk bait deeper, 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 and eventually actually down onto the bottom where you don't want it to be. You want the fish to be looking up at your jerk bait at all times this time of year. So I'll actually go to a monofilament line because it doesn't have the sinking properties that fluorocarbon does in that situation. So I'll go to something like a 10 pound trialing big game, just a, a monofilament um, so it doesn't sink. So keep that in mind if you're fishing super cold water. If that water is 48 or 50 or higher, don't worry about it. Stick with your fluorocarbon. That's what I use 90% of the time, but that mono is a good trick to use. Um, for more tips like this, make sure to check out majorleaguefishing.com. And if you have more questions on the Abu Garcia line of rods and reels, go to abugarcia.com.